Sandy is a gentle powerhouse. Well, Sandy to me is an ultimate professional and above all a fine human being. She never makes someone feel uncomfortable. She makes them want to be the best that they can be. Everybody knows Sandy. She's Miss Boston in terms of nonprofit institutions, governance, experience, a solid hand. I think I had a number of, of inspirations along the way. I mean, starting with um, my parents, my father, uh, and that's probably what led me down the path to do some charitable work. My father believed that it was just important to get engaged in whatever community you lived in and in organizations that needed help. At the Boston Consulting Group, one partner he said, you know, now's the time when you can step up to be a project leader. I said, oh, I can't do that. And he said, yes, you can. Maybe this is true of a lot of women. I thought of all the reasons why I couldn't do the job, as opposed to the reasons I could do the job. The first time I met Sandy was at the Museum of Fine Arts, sitting on the board of trustees with her. And she opened her mouth and said something that was so smart, so incisive, so to the point, but so graciously done and so persuasive, I thought, this person is someone to watch. The first time you meet her, you're a little bit intimidated because she has such a great reputation and she's so knowledgeable. And then the more you interact with Sandy, you develop almost an affection for her. So when she comes to sit down with you, it's like sitting down with your best friend and you're like a sponge. You want to soak up all that Sandy has to give you because she's such a reservoir of knowledge. She is a, really a role model for many of us, uh, not only just the woman in corporate America, but just about everybody. She's an excellent director. She understands the appropriate relationship between a board of directors, oversight responsibilities, and management responsibilities. She served Roman Haas board for over 25 years. And while I was CEO, she was the lead director for 10 year period. You know, Roman Haas is a 100 year old company, but third of it owned by a family and trust. So I think when the family decided that they needed to diversify their portfolio and they wanted full value, there were not that many options, to be honest. But lo and behold, you know, three companies were interested, all could afford it and we struck a very friendly deal with Dow Chemical. But then, of course, in the fall of 2008, the world literally fell apart. The big Dow Chemical said to the small Roman Haas, oh, the market has crashed. We're backing out of this deal. And Sandy's response was a comma, I don't think so. She accomplished what uh, I think a lot of people thought couldn't happen. We had about 22 board meetings, including many calls, of course. But I think that was the time that uh, Sandy was absolutely an invaluable asset to me personally and a great resource for the board to get this thing through. Sandy had been a, on the board of the Sloan Foundation for several years before I became president. There were challenges. I turned to her if there, there were issues on the board. And Sandy was really good at bringing people back to basics without offending anyone's personality. I was sort of as a real pro who I could turn to. Sandy went through a tremendous evolution of Verizon while she was on the board. It's unprecedented for someone to be on a board for 37 years and finishing up for a long period of time as our lead director. She saw us through things like buying the Vodafone shares, doing the original deal with Vodafone, buying MCI, having, having our assets in Venezuela privatized. There were so many technology changes, political changes, and she was a stabilizing force through that whole period. We never had the drama that you see in some of these other boards that really causes a downfall for the company. And I, I do attribute that to Sandy's incredible interpersonal skills. She is a star. She understands governance like no one else I know. She brings to it enormous expertise and she is always has an eye to best practices, but she goes so far beyond and she wants to mentor people and really have everyone feel success. Sandy has been very involved in, not only as a corporate director, but in Boston, at the, at the MFA, at the Boston Symphony, at the Museum of Science, and she seems to do it all with ease. She has an ability to keep more balls in the air 
and to perform all those roles and make it look effortless. To survive and thrive over 35 plus years in board service in corporate America speaks for itself. She deserves this award more than anybody else I can think of.